you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl the notorious and to the i to the a and today we are going to be talking about all of the perfumes that i am looking forward to trying in 2021 honestly i don't know when i got off of my perfume game but I don't like that. Recently, I rediscovered my love for perfume. I've always loved perfume ever since I was in high school, probably even before that. And I definitely have a love for fragrance. I feel like fragrance can just do so many wonderful and beautiful things. And I'm one of those people who get stuck on buying one particular thing during periods of time. I get on these like kicks of certain things. So it could be fragrances or it could be eyeshadow palettes like I will go on a shopping spree for a specific item so right now I'm back into perfumes we're gonna go ahead and share what perfumes I'm looking forward to trying out which ones caught my attention and my nose buds because I do have a good amount of perfumes I don't know who I think I am and what my bank account is talking about but it's all right it's all right I really want to do a series trying out each perfume on this list so definitely make sure you guys like this video at the end if you would be interested in the last perfume that I picked up with YSL's Mon Petit I actually do have the Dossier version if you guys don't know what Dossier is they create designer and niche inspired fragrances so you don't have to spend the luxury price tag and you could try things out hassle free no worries at all as you take this little sample you test the fragrance before you try out the full size bottle if you guys don't like it you can just return it to get a refund and returns are free so there is literally no commitment you can try out anything that you want and get your money back but if you do then you have the whole full size bottle to your disposal so i do want to go ahead and compare the original Mon Petit to Dossier's version of Mon Petit since this is the last fragrance that I bought. This just smells so good. Dossier's version of Mon Petit is actually called Florental Brown Sugar. The notes in this are bergamot, raspberry, pear. The middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and brown sugar. And then the base notes are patchouli. If y'all seen my last video, y'all know how I feel about patchouli. It, amber and vanilla so I'm gonna go ahead and spray that a little bit further down my arm you guys can see where the original is I'm gonna go ahead and just spray this down here one thing I also love about Dossier's perfumes and maybe it's because I'm childish but I love how the cat is magnetic I love that no you guys like it really smells <laughs> like the original that's crazy if you guys want to start trying out some perfumes and you don't want to spend the luxury price tag on them definitely check out dossier first dossier got you dossier got me just now i got a whole nother mon petit and i did not pay mon petit money so i do want to just mention the kind of fragrances that i typically gravitate towards just so you guys know where i'm coming from with these things that i want to try i am the gourmand sweet gourmand kind of girl i also realized that i do like like warm florals as well just keep that in mind with all of these perfumes that i'm mentioning the first perfume that i want to try out this year is carolina herrera's good girl okay the packaging on that perfume is gorgeous I don't know if that's why I want to pick it up or for the actual scent you guys don't know which one that is it is the one that looks like a stiletto but I actually can try it out today Dossier's version called Florento Almond so you take the little sample and I'm gonna just spray it on me because that's the best way to get a representation of how much you're going to like the scent is actually spraying it on your skin and letting it mix with your own body chemistry i can tell you right now she smells like she smells like she's going to work and she's going to take charge and she's going to let everybody know that she's going to work and take charge and she's not taking no for an answer she's going to work she's getting it done this would be a great office scent i know a lot of us are working from home but this would be a wonderful a wonderful office scent it smells like a sophisticated bossy 
I'm gonna get it done, woman. Got my bag, I got my heels on. I walked into this office with all these men, but I'm letting them know that I am going to get it done, period. Girl boss energy, yes, that's what this smells like. Second fragrance that I really, really wanna try out this year is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. If you guys seen my last dossier video, you know that I had got their version of Lost Cherry and honestly it sold me it smells so good so I'm definitely interested now in getting my hands on the original that's by far my favorite fragrance I received from Dossier it smells so good and I honestly was not expecting that but that's the beauty of trying out new perfumes you never know you never know what's gonna catch your attention because cherry if you would have told me I was going like a cherry perfume I would have looked at you like you was crazy the next perfume that I want to try out this year is Montel's Montel Patty. I hope that's how you, I hope. Sweet Vanilla. And I believe they also have another one that I want to try out. Vanilla Cake. So I would be interested in smelling both of those to see which one I like better. The next one up on the list is Delina Exclusive by Perfumes de Marley. Okay, this fragrance has been all over the place. It is a niche fragrance. Honestly, I just want to see what the hype is about with this one. I don't know if I'm actually going to like it, but it is everywhere. So I just want to see what it smells like. I do want to try the exclusive version because in doing my research, I think I'm going to just like that one better. I will probably end up smelling both the original Delina and the Delina exclusive, but the exclusive, oh my goodness. <laughs> The exclusive is the one that I definitely have my eye on. Next up, we have Killian Adults. And okay, Killian, let me say something about Killian. Everybody is obsessed with love, don't be shy. And honestly, I smelled that and it smelled like grapes or something. It did not smell like marshmallow to me. It wasn't knocking me over. I didn't like the way it smelled on my body chemistry. So honestly, Y'all could keep Love Don't Be Shy, but as far as adults, that is definitely one that I'm interested in trying out. It seems like from the scent description that it would be something I like. I also do really like Fig, so the fact that that is part of the notes, I am very intrigued to see what that one smells like. Another Killian perfume that I have on the list is Killian Rolling in Love. I do want to give Killian a chance, so I think that's why I do have two fragrances that I thought I would like on the list from them. Okay, so this one I actually have already smelt, but I do need to smell it again, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to purchase it. It is the Sol de Janeiro, you know, people who make bum bum cream. They have a perfume called Charosa 62, and I definitely think I'm going to get my hands on that. It's the perfect summer perfume. If you like Bum Bum Cream, I'm sure you will like this fragrance. So I definitely think I'm going to end up purchasing this and loving this one. All right, so next up we have Clean Reserve Skin. And I actually have smelled this one too. And it's one of those like your skin but better fragrances. So I honestly want to give it another try, smell it again. It wasn't really knocking me over. It wasn't really anything that I thought was special. However, I did not get to smell it on my body chemistry. So I think that's why I'm interested in giving it another chance because that is what they market it to be. Your skin but better or smell better. And finally, the last perfume I have on the list to try, Heteric Dirty Figs. Like I said, I do like fig fragrances. One of my favorite fragrances from Bath & Body Works is Brown Sugar and Fig. I love the way it smells, so I'm interested in seeing what these fig fragrances smell like because I think I would really like it. Yes, those are all the fragrances that I am interested in trying this year. Let me know down below in the comment section what perfumes you want to try this year and if we have any in common. Also, shout out to Dossier. If there is a fragrance that you want to test out, go ahead and check out Dossier's website first to see if they have it so you do not have to, you know, dish out all them coins. We're still in a panorama. All right, so we ain't got time for that. Miss Romna's still kicking, all right? She, 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 she on the way out the door, but she's still kicking. Okay. That's all I have for you guys. So definitely let me know if you guys would like me to do the perfume series because I really, really do want to do it. 
and I'm really, really excited to do it. So let me know. I'm tapping back into something that I love, something that I'm passionate about. I know a lot about fragrances and what actually goes into figuring out what your perfect fragrance is going to be. So this really excites me. I can actually give you guys some recommendations in the videos. So just let me know if that's something that you would actually watch. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.